Callum Minkley, Trinity's latest signing. Welcome to the club, Callum. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Um, can't wait to get going now. Finally got everything sorted. And um, yeah, it's been, I've been in with the lads a while now, so got to know everyone well and just want to get the season started now. Yeah, at the moment it's 17 days away until the start. But speaking to the gaffer beforehand, he really spoke highly of you and was, you were one that he wanted to get in. Why yeah, the that's... Um... Go on. Why the wait until we could um, get you over the line? Well, there was obviously a little interest, you know what I mean, with uh, the club and whatever, but ever since I came in from the first day, um, I felt like I was wanted. That was the first thing I wanted to feel wanted. And uh, with my age as well, I, there's plenty of directions I could have gone in, you know what I mean? So I could have stuck playing at an under 23 level or I'm still only young, you know what I mean? But I decided to make that big jump and just jump into first team football. That's what I want to do and make a name for myself that way. And hopefully I can work through the levels and work my way up. I've certainly seen a few players from non-league football progress back up the ladder. By playing men's football, it's something that you don't really get that experience of, that exposure at under-23 level. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say so. Um, obviously, I've been in that system a long time. So I came through Derby for... I've been there for 10 years. So I've obviously been all the way up through the youth ages and then I made it to the youth team, played there for two years. And I came in as a pro for two years. And I just I was playing under 23 football regularly in that, but I just wanted to make go in a different direction and test myself a different way. So I, I felt like I didn't want to get too comfortable and I wanted a challenge. And I think this exposure I'm gonna get from this level, and it's well, it's a it's semi steps away from like national league or whatever. I'm gonna get some good experience. Hopefully I can do well for myself. Prove I can play against the big boys um, and just show I can do it. That's what I want to do, yeah. You certainly impressed in pre-season. A few games for Trinity. You also played against us in the Lincolnshire Cup and got a few pleasing positives from Lincoln fans that rated your performance. That's got to give you the confidence as well in your ability. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, that was... Only a one-off game as well, so I just slid straight in and played the game, and I didn't really, I didn't really know any of the lads I was playing with, but uh, yeah, I felt like I had a good game that night. Um, but yeah, I've, I've felt welcomed ever since I came right to the club. Uh, a lot of positive, like I mean, a lot of positive feedback from like fans and just like people, the staff around the club and whatever. Like even the coaches uh, and the gaffer have all been great with me. And I just feel like I'm going to grow in confidence with all that like, feedback I'm getting. And that's just, I think that's what every player wants. You know what I mean? They want to feel happy and that's going to bring the best out of me. That's, what, that's just the way I feel, yeah. Successful sides look at improving both ones and two percent. If that can be brought back through boosting confidence, then the season looks quite promising. Yeah, definitely. Um I think we've got a good side, you know what I mean? From I didn't know what to expect when I first came in because I've never played at this level. But with the young players and that, we've got a lot of young players and there's a good mixture, you know what I mean? There's a young and old, like, there's experience there as well. But I think that's a good mixture. Like, I think we can do well with the players we've got at our disposal. Like, there's a lot of players who have dropped out from pro clubs or whatever that are young. Uh, and they're all hungry to play at the highest level. And then we've got experience who have played at this level. And I think it's all a good mixture. Like I think I think we're going to do well. That's, what I, that's all I can say, really, yeah. Certainly one that looks like an exciting season in the offing. And just can't, yeah. like yourself, I can't wait for it to get started. Yeah, definitely. I, I just want to get started now. Uh, and the games are going to come thick and, fa thick and fast, aren't they? Uh, I've seen the schedule. There's a lot of games and... I think that's what every player wants. They just want to play games. Um, I think it's 12 games in the first two months. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, it's, it's, 
it's a heavy schedule, but I think that's with the young lads we've got, I'm sure they'll be able to stick at it and you know, fresh legs and whatever, young legs. Exactly. But three points up for grabs at five o'clock on a Sunday. Yeah, by ten o'clock definitely. on a Tuesday night. Yeah. What it's all about now. That is what it's all about, yeah. Getting three points and hopefully being high up in the table, pushing up. That's what we want to do. We want to want to be high up as high up as possible, really. I'm, I'm sure that's what we're all going to be striving for. Yeah. Looking forward to being part of it. Yeah. All right. I've just got 10 quick fire questions. I just want to fire at you. Get to know you a little bit more. So the Trinity fans, when we meet you in person, know a little bit yeah. about you already. You've got to start off with the team that you support. I'm a Liverpool fan, me. Uh, my dad supports them. Uh, but the funny thing is, a lot of my uh, other side of my family were like big Forest fans and that. Not in, not, not in Forest, and obviously I was at Derby, so I didn't really. Didn't really, really broadcast that one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. How about the best ground that you've played at? Uh, the best ground I've played at, I've played at the Derby ground, so Pride Park. Um, I've played at Brian's ground, the Amex, that was a nice ground, if you're talking about away grounds. Uh, I've, I've played at Norwich as well, Carroll Road. They're the, they're the main two I've played at away. Out of them two, if we're talking about away grounds, I'd say Brighton. It's a nice ground. It's, it's new as well. Okay. It's fairly new. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Who's been the biggest influence on your career today? Um, I'd probably say my dad. Uh, he's always like took me to train when I was young and always told me to keep at it and keep training hard. He still does to, to this day. Like, Keeps on me training and that, uh, staying fit and everything. But yeah, I'd probably say my dad, yeah. It's good to have somebody like that in your corner, pushing you along, giving you that little bit. Yeah, yeah for sure. He keeps fit himself, so it's like, you know what I mean? It's one of those he likes to stay fit. Is he fit than you are? I'm not going to say. I don't think he is. <laughs> He'll come on later. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so from biggest influence to boyhood hero. Uh, that's an easy one for me. Uh, that that'd have to be Steven Gerrard. Uh, I was a massive fan of his since I was young. So obviously watching Liverpool and that, that all that the passion he played with and everything that that's what yeah, I think everyone used to love that. You know what I mean? The players and that he used to play with that passion and. I think that's, I try and use that in my game, to be fair. I want to be a passionate player, you know what I mean? Okay. How about your toughest opponent? Uh, I uh, Actually, I played against um, Mason Greenwood, I did, when I was a youth team player. And, you know, Mark, he was just Mark level. Mark we, to be fair, we did well. We was drawing one one, and like it must be the last ten minutes, and he bent on top top corner. Uh, but yeah, he was level above it. He was, uh, you know, he could just do it with both feet. You just know, you knew he was special. You know what I mean? He just stood out. But you know, yeah, it's great to play against players like that. I played against Curtis Jones as well. He's at Liverpool. I played against him. Uh, but yeah, they're the main two. Obviously, they're both playing in first team now. But yeah, the best two I've played against, I'd say. But it gives you that idea, that indication of the standard that you want to get to going forward. Yeah, de- yeah, like definitely. Yeah. In the Premier League, so. Yeah. It shows it's possible. You know what I mean? I think every player's got a different route to get there, you know what I mean? So uh, there's players that come up through the... There's players that have never been in academies or anything and make it. It's just the... You have to go along with the route and see where it takes you. Exactly. But by buckling down, putting 100% in, you give yourself the best chance to do that. Whether that was staying at Derby in the 23s and catching the eye of Wayne Rooney or doing it this way. And yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Have you got a TV series that you'd go to or recommend going to? Yeah. Um, I'd say I've been, I've been watching Game of Thrones and I think that's a great series. Like, 
because there's so much going on, you know what I mean, with all the different characters and the different parts of the the story and that. I think that's a great that's a great watch, like, there's, and you, there's that many sit like series you can't really can't really uh, run out of episodes. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Game of Thrones is one that's been thrown around a few times. It's still, one that I haven't actually taken a plunge for. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd I'd get watching it if I was you. Yeah. Watch. The wife controls the remote both, so. Uh. <laughs> she's not football on the telly she's got the remote yeah <laughs> right. have you got a claim to fame mm, I don't really I can't really think one off the top of my head um, I won't really say I have a claim to fame, fame now not, still not. Be, that chapter is still to be written <laughs> yeah still to be written that one yeah <laughs> All right, well, they get easier now. Uh, if you were stranded on a desert island, what three items would you want with you to stop you from getting bored? Uh, um, I think first I'd take a football, just when you're bored, just do a, bit, a few kick-ups and that. Uh, Ball playing centre-off. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd try my best. Um, second one... I'd probably take my PlayStation, to be honest. I'm a bit of a... I like playing games and that. Any games? I'd pick, I'd pick a PlayStation. Uh, just FIFA and stuff like that. I, I've always been into playing games when I was young and that. I just sort of... Passes time and that. I'd pick PlayStation over like taking the phone or something. I don't really... Phone's not really something I'd put much time into. I just use it, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, and the last one... Um... I'm going to take a bike. Okay. Because I like I, I, mean, I like biking, so, so that's what I like doing. Get around that desert island, explore it a little bit. Yeah, explore, yeah, explore it. Uh, yeah, I, I like going around and exploring and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'd take a bike and use, I'd use that. I think. Good choices. PlayStation, yeah. a bike and a football. Yeah. So you're giving the impression that you're quite fit, look after yourself. And... Really, you'd just be sat in the corner playing on your PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's when I've done my I've done my training sessions. I'll just sit on that to recover. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, to fuel yourself up, you can now go out for a dinner date with four people, living or dead. Who would you choose to keep you company? Um, first one I'd I'd, I'd pick Gerard, just because. He was my idol when I was growing up. Um, second one, if I'm, I, this is a random one. Uh, Sylvester Stallone. Okay. Because I'm a big fan of the Rocky films as well. I used to watch them, and I've got like the series and that. I, I like watching that. Um, third one. Uh, See, I'm pretty bland when I'm talking about people. I, I, I like living on a rock sometimes. I um, don't know. I, I'm, this is going to be boring, but Ronaldo is the one. Just another one. You know, like his work ethic and that, and just everything he's achieved. Like, he's, he's had to work for everything he's got, you know what I mean? Me uh, he's ne- yeah, he's never given up, yeah. And... Yeah, he, he proves anyone can do this. Um, last one. Would there be anything uh, in the motivational? I don't know. Um, Something I saw when you hit subscribe on the YouTube channel. So uh, it, on the, a look, a bit of a nose. Some of your playlists for motivational speakers and stuff. Don't know if they. Oh yeah, have you ever them. heard of a? Have you ever heard of someone called David Goggins? I don't know if you've heard of him. He's like a bit of a motivational guy. I'd take him. He, he's a, he's one of them who does a lot of motivational speeches and I'd take him. It's a bit of a random. A lot of sense. Yeah, it's, I can't really think of anyone else. I'd take him, yeah. Fair enough. An interesting fall, though, and certainly things that you can a lot from. And yeah, like, like we said before about the twos and three percents that you could improve, just by talking to those people, I'm sure you could pick up little bits. I'm sure anybody could, but, you know, it'd pick up. And just give an idea for how to better. Yeah, yourself. I think they're all successful people, you know what I mean? So I think 
you're going to pick stuff up off of people like that. And that's like I say, if you, if you did do that, it'd be a good experience, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, yeah. I'll send off a few emails and see if I can get it arranged for you. Uh, <laughs> that'd be lovely. <laughs> All right. And just for one last one to finish, a prediction for the 2021-22 season. So it can be anything from uh, Premier League down to pitching in Northern Prem. All right. I'm going to predict that Liverpool are going to win the league. I'm, I'm going to put that straight down as a marker. Uh, and uh, for us, I think I think we should try and get in the playoffs as a, just as a mark. I don't know. But we'll see what happens, won't we? You know what I mean? I, I think we should aim high. You know what I mean? That's what I think you've got to aim high. 